Hey guys, it's Delise with Bardell Bows. And if you're watching this video, then it means that you guys are a member of Club Bodacious because it means that you are the ones that got our very first box. And it means that you guys are the ones that took of the leap of faith with us. So you'll notice there's a stamp on your box that says that you are a leap of faith member. And that will only go on the people's boxes that got the boxes the very first time. So guys, we are so excited. We've been working really, really hard to get these packed up. You should have them in your hands by now. This beautiful white box should have arrived in your shop. And when you looked in it, it was filled with this beautiful pink paper with Bardell bows in it. And you got some great stuff in there. Guys, we've got everything from teddies to fancy frills to neckwear and bows. We've got you all covered for the month of September. So in just a little while, I'm gonna show you everything that's in that box. Everybody's boxes are not the same, so keep that in mind. Um, I also wanna tell you too that there are a lot of things about that box that you can do. For instance, next month when we go to send out your next box, you're gonna get an email before your box goes out. At that time, you have an opportunity to go to a bigger size box if you'd like. You have an opportunity to spend, suspend a month if you would like. You also can stop it for a month if you've got too many bows and pick it up the next month. So you've got all kinds of options, guys. So I've got Stella with us today and Stella has one of our retro bows in her hair along with our wonderful fancy free hair. This color is gorgeous. It's got the satin on it and the dots and you'll see these in a lot of your boxes. Hey guys, so let me tell you a little bit about what's in your box. To start with, we had three different boxes that you could choose from. $49 value, $99 value, and $149 value. And you had a lot of questions that you had to ask, whether you did small dogs only, small to medium, medium to large, or that you do them all, and then different types of collections too. So that allowed us to custom build the box for you. So the things that I'll show you tonight is not what everybody got in their box. You got a variety of different things. So you'll see as we go through it, but everybody did get a gift box. So in there was a gift box and it was beautifully wrapped. And this gift box is approximately a $20 value to all of you. So let's look and see what's in this. And most of the gift boxes had the same type items in them. They may have been different colors. So first off, you got a beautiful bling bow. This guy, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about these in a little bit, but these guys are great in doodle heads. They're also great on collars. Um, they're beautiful on shoulders. And I'll show you a few photos with that. You got this wonderful little neck thing that's actually adjustable. These are our rosy rosettes. And the thing that's really neat about this is it's got a reflective strip on it, guys. So that really makes it a, a nice thing when you give it to them so that when they're out on the road, that reflects. Let's see what else is in here. Oh my gosh. One of our couture collars. I love these two couture collars, guys. They can be worn this way around the neck or they can go this way around the neck. They're absolutely beautiful. And then you just tie them. So it's almost like they're wearing a little stole. All right, in this box, we got some of our great little lolly dots, a pair of those. They can be used singly or together. Ah. One of our rainbows, beautiful colors there. And these are really great for the month of August, the, you know, the hot month of August. These are some really, really pretty colors to use. You, in this box, there's some beautiful little um, ladybugs. How cute is that? Ladybugs, these guys have really, really been a hit. Our bug collection has gone off the charts. And part of it is it's because you can use them on boy, boys or girls. It really doesn't matter. And you can put them anywhere. You can look like they've landed on the shoulder. They can go on the side of the head. So there's tons of ways to use these guys. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh, a tiny pair of our little bitty petites. Guys, these are really good, especially if you're doing a Maltese pull-up. So you can do two bows on top of the head. Um, these are really cute too, as if you use them as a sideways bow and they're wonderful, wonderful as ear bows. And all of these bows have that no wrong way to put them in thing. Okay guys, so right side up, right side down, doesn't matter. All right, let's see. Uh, and you got some of our pixies in the red, the pretty little pixies. Again, this is a great top knot bow. Everything you got in this box is paired except for your bling which means that you can use two on the dog or it's good for two dogs. All right, and then, oh, our wonderful, wonderful little tiny teddies. How cute are those? And look at that glitz. Isn't that adorable? All right, and then 
everybody got an adjustable bow tie. These are the big bow ties. And uh, everybody, well, not everybody, but there is one in probably everybody's box of one of these guys. Okay, guys? So that was your gift pack. And that was all free. That didn't cost you anything. That was not in your 49. Again, that's about a anywhere from a, a 15 to $20 value in that. So I'm going to show you the things that you got free in there. So all of that was extra, was a gift. And it wasn't free. It was actually a gift from us to you. All right, so let me show you some more stuff. And just... Okay, guys, let's check out some of the options that you got for neckwear in your Club Bodacious. Wonderful, fancy frill. This is a gorgeous, satin, fancy frill with wonderful, wonderful polka dots on it. Can you see that, Paul? It's got some beautiful pattern to it, so it's not just this plain color. And the thing that I absolutely love about this color, Fancy Frill, is that it goes so great on apricots, and it's a wonderful, if you'll look at this photograph here, of this doodle in this particular Fancy Frill, it goes absolutely wonderful. So that's one thing that you got in your neckwear. You also probably got several, and, and, and this is a combination of all the different neckwears. So bow ties, um, there were bow ties that had to do with the red, white, and blue, which has got you covered for Labor Day because Labor Day is coming up in September, and so you'll definitely need that. So, um, and there's another red, white, and blue one that possibly was in your box, which is down here. And along with this wonderful bright summertime right here. Then we've got in the box some of our new chrysanthemums, guys. And what they've got on the back is a piece of elastic. So it makes them extremely easy to put on a collar. So let me show you right here. This guy's got one on. And so you just unsnap your collar and this just slides over the collar. Makes it really nice. It's a great little touch, especially if the dog comes in with its own collar. And so you got some chrysanthemums chrysanthemums, chrysanthemums. All right, another thing are our ruffle palm neckwear. These guys are adjustable, so they'll go from large to small, and they slide down like this, and these are really great, and they've got the little clasp, so you just put them on like so. Somebody the other day I saw did this, and they didn't unopen it. They just opened it like this, put it over the dog's head, but use your clasp. All right, guys, and so we got in that box, you've got a red, white, and blue one, which is really, really good, again, for Labor Day. And the other thing about red, white, and blue, guys, is that it goes good on boys, girls. It does not matter. So, anyhow, those are absolutely beautiful. You've got some of these that you actually got in your gift pack with the reflector strips. These are our rosy rosettes. These are really, really good for dogs that you have done a shave down on or short-haired breeds, like you've got a whippet that comes in to get its hair cut. This is beautiful. Or even if you've got a schnauzer, a female schnauzer, how beautiful would this pink be on that gorgeous gray? Looks really good on any dog that you've cleaned the neck on. So those are some of the options that were in your boxes. Also this wonderful in the oranges. So there were different ones. Everybody got something a little bit different, but you got a good assortment of neckwear, guys. Neckwear is real important because you do have a lot of dogs that you don't have coat on that you want to put something around the neck. And also, a lot of times, the boys, you don't want to do a type of hair bow. So, these wonderful neckties are really great. And the fancy frills, you just can't go wrong with those. I love the assortment of bows that we put together for you guys. So, we've got some great little reds here, which are the petite. So, if you're doing small dogs, these are wonderful. And red is such a wonderful color for for male dogs also. I don't hesitate to put a red bow on a male Yorkie when I'm pulling up a top knot, but these are adorable. But let's just say, for instance, you wanna change this bow a little bit. Well, you could use a fascinator and make this red and blue. So you could do that combination. This is a little bit of a sassiness. And then you've got these great that have the little sparkles on them. And then a wonderful white. I love the white because I love how the, black, uh, the red makes it pop. And guys, other things that we've got. So you've got your wonderful retros in here. You've got the rainbows. You've got the wonderful, um, I don't even know what these guys are called. Big tops is what they're called. 
um, a bunch of the little in the purple for the girls and teals. So you've got a great collection of bright colors that will help you get you through August because August is really a hot month. It's still really summer. Fall has not started yet, so you don't want to use those dark colors. Another thing is these guys make great top knot bows. I want to show you this particular bow here in the top knot of this Yorkie. How cute is that? And then let me show you another photo of, as you look at these great looking bows, let me see where it is. I know that I have it somewhere. Well, like right here is little Miss Stella and she is in one of the retro bows. So how cute is that gonna be guys? with your fancy frill. So you can mix your fancy frills with your retros. Um, you can also do them, I even see it with some of these teals. And I even like the pink mixed with this. How beautiful is that, guys? And here you see we've only done one bow on this dog's head. You don't have to use two bows on a dog's head. You can do one off to the side. Um, you can do uh, one in the center. I love a Pomeranian where you do one just off to the side. I love a Poodle where you do it just low at the ear. All right, guys, so let's talk about a few other things. Okay, guys, a few more bright collections for you in that look at these beautiful double bows. I love a double bow because it gives you such dimension. You'll get some of the puffs in that. You also get some of the fascinators. I want to show you real quickly, guys, because a lot of you go, oh my gosh, I don't use fascinators because I don't know how to use them. Put your bow in like you normally would, um, and then just take the fascinator and open up this rubber band and just slide it over that bow, like so. That's all you got to do. And then you could trim this to match the ears. I'm going to show you some photos of some stuff that people have done with fascinators. So you got fascinators in your pack. Use those. Enjoy those. I've even used the fascinators and put a top knot up and used them to braid into the top knot. But look at these wonderful puffs. I am just in love, in love, in love with our Swiss dots, guys. And in this, you get several different styles of Swiss dots. Swiss socks are one of those things that you can use for all kinds of things. They look really good as a side top knot bow, so you can put it right here on the side. They also look good, as you can see here, on the ears, or you can use them as a bow tie, so they could actually go on the collar of a dog. All of our rubber bands are large enough that they'll go on the collar. You can do it as doubles over the ears. Um, I just love them as a plain, as a top knot bow. So guys, you got Swiss dots in there. You've got the wonderful little teddies again. These guys are great for your little breeds. These are so wonderful for tiny dogs. They're also great in the ears again too. So they are really, really cute. More Swiss dots. Ah, the cupcakes, guys. These are always so fun. The little girls absolutely love those, but wonderful bright colors. The pixies that are always good. Also bugs, you got some bugs. So anyhow guys, you've got um, bumblebees and ladybugs and um, just really a, an assortment of all types. And let me show you a couple of those in use, just so that you know how to use them. And let's see, oh, First off, let me show you this. This is a Swiss dot in the center of the dog's head. Is that not precious, guys? Asian Fusion, what a cute little style that is. All right, and let's see. Ah, I love this one too. So guys, check that out. How cute, just again, off to the side. That bright red on that white, how good that looks. And let me see if I can find another one. Ah, look at these. I just showed you the puffs. How cute are those? Easy to, easy to use, guys. Easy to use. Little pigtails in that. And, uh, but probably one of my all-time favorites. Is that just not adorable? But then I want to show you something else, too. Because that particular coat is not something that you're going to get real often in your shop. This is going to be something that you probably get more often. And I think this is absolutely adorable. 
And this is one of the little tiny cupcakes in the top of this dog's head. So this is a dog that they had to take down, but they left this cute face. And so often, Westies look so much like males, but when you put that bow in there, that really girls are up. All right, guys. So let me see if I see one more I wanted to show you in that. Oh, yes, there were two more that I wanted to show you. Let me see if I can find it right quick. Oh, here it is. This is another Swiss dot. And I love this done with the fascinator. So this is using the fascinator on the top of the head, pulling the top knot up with the Swiss dot and putting the fascinator around it to kind of blend in. So this is one of those instances where you don't want to use color on the dog, but you want to give them a little bit of bling. So guys, some really, really cute, bright colors in that. Enjoy the Swiss dots. They are so much fun. Again, you could, if you wanted to, if you felt like you needed something uh, for Labor Day, you could use this particular Swiss dot and put this red, this blue with it, and you've turned it into a patriotic type bow. So, guys, uh, the same is true even with the little ladybug. How cute is that? Make it look like his little tail flying. Here, again, you could do it with this. So, you're turning regular bows into different things. So, this makes it a red, white, and blue. This by itself is just a uh, red, red bow. Or you can do these and use them with a blue bow and just keep it in the blue family. So anyhow, that's a really cute collection. Okay, some of the boxes actually even got our mustache bows. Guys, these are wonderful because I like to use these. Like if I've got a Westie right where my chest plate goes down, I like to put that right there almost like a little bow tie. But the mustache bows are really, really cute. Some more of the glitz in the um, Swiss dots, and these are absolutely wonderful. Also red puffs, um, some beautiful sassies, guys. So some really great colors. And I know a lot of you go, oh my gosh, black. And of course you didn't get very much of it, but this is absolutely breathtaking on a white Maltese to put up the, black, the top knot with a black bow. It really, really makes it stand up. But if black is not your thing, guys, then you can always add a little red fascinator with it to give it a little umph, or you can do a pink fascinator with it. That really makes it kind of sassy, guys. So um, these are beautiful with the fascinators, and this is the little tiny teddy. So this is a photograph of the little tiny teddies, which are these guys here. So these are really, really cute. So this is a great assortment. It has got some... Um, wonderful um, pixies in it. It's got great puffs in it. You've got all kinds of wonderful things and color combinations. We use so much red and we use so much hot pink that this is really a good combination for you guys to use. And you know, that's something when you're talking about your customers and we go, we got customers that only want red or only want pink. Doesn't mean that it has to be solid. You can use a bow that has got pink in it. Like I'll just pull real quick like here this wonderful cupcake so if your customer says i just want pink you can use a cupcake in pink and then a beautiful pink streamer that can't get any more pink than that guys all right so this is just a really i love the black and white check again i love the designer a lot of you got this wonderful um ruffle collar in there which acts which ties it's absolutely beautiful, and it pairs really, really good with um, these uh, teddies in the gold. This is a very elegant, elegant bow. This is for people that don't want to be over the top. Um, it is just a really gorgeous, and I love it too, in the silver. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, classy bow. And then, of course, the red. You just can't go wrong with red, guys. So, some beautiful things in those collections also. We wanted to give you all something to use as a photo op. Um, I talk to you all the time about how your social media is so important and how putting things on social media is what sets you apart from everybody else. And it's what gets you followers. It's what gets you noticed. It's also what influences your customers. So we gave you some things that you could use as photo prop pieces. 
And this means that you can send them out with your clients if you'd like, or you can just use them over and over again to take photos. Like this wonderful little um, bandana looking uh, fabric, um, fancy frill mixed with these great little bugs. How cute is that? Or these wonderful big collar bows that can be used in doodle ears or it can be used on the collar along with striped in uh, the uh, blue along with these fascinators, or maybe even you got some red, white, and blue teddies, guys. Um, you may have gotten two. You may have gotten this along with this, depending on the value of your box. And so this makes it red, white, and blue, and then you can do these guys. So guys, uh, you also got fascinators in that photo box. So those are some things to take and use, to use with your social media. And again, you can use them over and over again. Um, you don't have to send them home with the customers if you do not want to, although, although you can indeed. But the little bugs are really, really cute, and that is a great little thing to use for this upcoming month. Still hot this summer. Okay, guys, if you've got the 149 box, you got something a little bit extra. A wonderful pink couture collar, along with our cologne, which is vanilla and jasmine. It smells absolutely wonderful, and one of our wonderful crowns. These are great for photo ops. You can see this dog here. She's actually got one of the frill, uh, the uh, couture collars on her neck over a fancy frill with her crown. And uh, it is a proven fact that a dog that has bows or some type of embellishment will get more likes than a dog that does not. So anyhow, if you were one of the 149s, you got this little extra in your box. So check that out. Okay, guys, last but not least, and this is in everybody's box, and you guys are the first ones to get to see it. Um, as soon as you have opened your boxes, then we are going to put these on our website, and we are actually taking them uh, to the Chicago show with us. But these are brand new guys, and they are for Halloween. They are actually spiders, and these guys can be used in the hair, they can be used on the collar, they can be used on the shoulder, they can go just about anywhere. But there are actually three in the collection, and uh, one is purple, and the other two are on orange. You guys will get one or two more of these in your box next month so that you can use them for Halloween. But if you want more than that, then this would be an add-on, something that you would add on to your next month's box. Something else that you're getting that are brand new. And again, they're not on the website until after you guys get your box. Are the ghost. Do you see these tiny little ghost guys? So these are wonderful. They can go in the hair, but what I've done with it here is I've got a bandana for this dog in the black, and I've used it as the clasp for the bandana. But it's got a rubber band just like all of our bows do, so you can put it in the hair if you'd like, and you got a pair of those in your box too. And those were not included in your price. So the ghost and the spiders were something we just threw in because we wanted you to see it and you to have it in your hands before anybody else did. Guys, I hope you love the box as much as we love doing it for you. We have already started on next month's box, and it is over the top again. It's got some great stuff. We will have you covered for Halloween, and we will have you covered going into your fall. So, guys, I can't wait for you to see it. I hope you love it as much as we enjoy doing it for you guys. See you later. A, a wonderful fancy frill and then we paired this with one of our retro uh, not our retro yeah it is our retro bows and she's like who cares but anyhow guys um i'm lost hey guys it's delise with bardell bows and if you are watching this video still <laughs> that's hold on <laughs> She's like, oh, no, no, no.